Hi friends, this is Soft Reason. In this lesson, we will be looking at this commercial structure. This is a three-story. Sorry, this is a five-story building. Okay, and we will be looking at the modeling of this structure. We will be also looking at loading this structure, analyzing the structure, and designing the structure as well. Okay, and so this lesson we are going to split it into part by part. For now, we will be looking at the modeling. After the modeling, we will now look at the loading of these structures. And so, you have to stay tuned by subscribing. In order for you to be able to help this channel, make sure you support the channel by subscribing. Okay, let's start. And so, we will go to new project and we will want to change the name of this project to six story commercial building one okay why i said i call it six story is because of this uh, solar panel carrier okay and so we click on okay bsl110 we import all right and so we want to go to our external reference drawing you can go through this place or you can go to here file and then you come to this model export and import and then you can still look at your external reference drawing yeah okay you click on it i want to load the 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 sf file okay which is this file okay i click on it and open okay so the file i loaded it from my document okay from autocad okay so i will click on this Then I closed. Alright, you notice that this file has been loaded successfully. You can check my previous lesson in the in my videos, okay? You will see how I converted this file from DWG to DSS file. Okay. In that video that I I termed conceptually uh, building modeling. Okay, incline columns. Okay, so at this point I want to change the my grid numbering, okay? To one, two, three, four five six and seven okay so for me to do that and also i will change in the both vertical direction which is the y axis and the horizontal direction which is the x axis okay and so i will alight all the grease lines on the vertical axis which is the y direction and then i'll click on property in the property dialogs i will change this place i'm having one supposed to be five okay because we come from here one two three four five okay so why one supposed to be one okay so so I change the rest of it. This one's supposed to be six, okay? All right, so I'll close it. I'll do the same thing in this direction, okay? A, B, C, D, E. Okay, my A is supposed to be E. Alright, if you... Okay, this has not changed. Okay, I'll double click on it. Right click and click on property. Change it to D. Okay, I will update. Okay, and close. So we have so changed this successfully. Okay, the next thing we will be doing is we want to fix our beams. Okay, and so we will go to beams. In the beam dialog, we will give a beam, our beam sections. Okay, to two, five by four fifty beam. We are going to use. Okay, you click this point and then you select this center line. Okay, and you insert your beam.
just do it the way I am doing it, okay? Alright, so you closed. Okay, the next thing we will be looking at is we will create our arc beams. Okay, and for us to do that, we will also go to beam and then you click on this point. Okay, we click the first point, the second point. So we can have our beam up to a distance of 1300 okay so for us to be able to put in this time you owe your shift key and pressed f2 okay it will prompt you to fix a distance okay we are going down on the graph and so it's going to carry minus sign okay and so we are going to put 1300 okay and we enter all right so we will come to this point and do the same thing all right so the next thing we have to do if you check this particular beam you see it with a, a thick arrow sign telling you this beam is a cantilever beam okay so we will close okay uh, so uh, we will now insert our slab but by then i would like us to anchor the beams that are not continuous to the columns and how do we do that if you check this beam okay you notice it goes these directions if it goes towards your left hand sorry towards your right hand side you notice it is continuous there are other beams but when it goes towards the left side there are no other beams this way so you need to anchor this beam to this column okay but in the program it is called inch okay all right so we are going to inch at left end okay so we click on it and then we apply we do the same thing in all of this beam okay we apply we do the same thing here we can decide to select multiple beams okay by holding down our control key since we are applying the same command to this same members all right so we right click and inch okay we This one is going to be both sides because both sides both side is discontinued. All right.
all right so i have ink on my beam okay so the next thing i will need to do now is to click on the slab i will click on slab and then i will give my slab thickness of 150 okay 150 sections okay so i i'm having a, a 5 to 25 mm co concrete covers okay i will go to load okay yeah i will have it extra load of 1.2 okay it is a commercial structure, okay? And so I'll be using two. I'll be using a two collagen parameter as well. All right, that is my loading. I'll insert my slabs, okay? Okay, so I'll close this place and then I'll go back to beam again. All right, the modeling. I will need to add this beam. Okay, because here is my stair room. Okay, this place is my stair room. So I will close this. Go back to slab again. Then I will fix my slab here. Okay, fix it there. And yeah, all right. So what I will do now is I will close this. Alright, so I will save the project. Okay, so after saving the project, I will go to building and insert story. I will be having all together six story, okay, and okay, and yes. Alright, and I will get to my story one, okay, then I will go to build it again and generate story okay select the story one st select story two hold down my shift key and select up to story five okay and i'll click on okay so it will generate automatically okay it's completed i we closed this okay so the next thing i will have to do now is at this level i will remove these beams i don't need this beam at this level okay I will only need this at the fifth floor. So I will go to the fourth floor and also remove this. I will go to the third floor and remove this as well. For multiple selection, you need to hold down your control key. All right, I'll go to the fish floor. Okay, I've removed it even at the fish floor, so I will have to fix it back. Okay, so. I'll click on my beam okay then I will fix this beam all right so this is what we will be having okay so let's see our structure in 3d all right so we'll be having something like this in 3d okay and so modeling is still in process I don't need this beam at this first second floor okay so i will remove it all right so our modeling is still in progress so what i will do now is i want to remove these columns i want to remove these columns i will be having columns here Alright, as well I won't be having beam here too.
sorry, I've deleted this bit. Okay, so I will have to go back to the history. I don't navigate to the plan view. Okay, so I will go to the 3D view again and I want to remove these beams, this one, this one, this one, as well as this. And I want to remove this column. I want to make this column a slender column. Okay. So I will delete this. Okay. For for us to make this column a slender column, these two column, I will send them to the foundation. Okay. So for me to do that, I will click on. I will click on the first one. Click on the second one, okay, then I will right click and then click on property. In the property dialog, I will navigate to this plot. There you see length story, okay? I will put, I'll make it three, okay? I'll make it three and then you see the effect. I put three and I click here. You can see it has sent the column to the foundation. Alright, so I will close. So these two columns are slender columns, okay? Alright, and also I will not... Alright. And so, the next thing we will be doing is to add our solar panel carrier, okay? The solar panel carrier is going to be at story 6. So we will navigate to story 6, okay? So we double click on story 6. Okay, so story 6 is at 3 meter above story 5. So I will go to my plan view. Okay, this is story 6. Okay, and so at this story 6, we are instructing the solar panel carrier along this grid lines. Okay, so what we need to do is we will insert columns. Okay, we click on columns. Okay, all right, so we are having columns 230 by 230. Actually, we are looking at our columns to be 225 by 225. So we are going to change that after this. Okay, so I will go by this first. Okay, so I will click here yeah, and here. Yeah. Okay, and I will close. Okay, and so the next thing I will do is I will click on beam. Okay, so in the beam dialog, I will use this curve beam instructions. Okay, I'll click this point, I will click this point, and then move my hand towards the directions. And I will all my shift key and then F2 okay so as to prompt me to type in so the arc the radius is going to be 1700 and I will enter all right so I'll be having this uh, the next thing I'm going to do I'll deactivate this okay so I can insert a beam okay the beam I want to insert here is 300 thickness by 2 to 5 so I will have it up to this point this is a cantilever beam okay and up to this point okay and so I will close this okay the next thing I will add my slab okay my slab here will be 120 okay all right so I will insert it here okay so I will click on update and closed okay all right so the next thing we'll be looking at in this modeling is our columns so if you go to story one you will notice that you will notice that the columns are 330 by 330 I want to I want to make the columns 2 to 5 by 2 to 5 and so for me to be able to do that I will go to 
columns okay click on the first columns come down hold down my shift key click on the last column add this floor okay and then i will right click then click on property in the property dialog i will have my b1 okay i click on this point and click on this point i give it a section to two five so as to change this to 30 okay and i will okay it has changed i will do the same thing to this other place okay it has changed okay so i will close it and minimize this okay then i will go to the next story okay the next story will be story two okay i will double click on story two and do the same thing Alright, so having changed all the column sizes successfully, let us look at our project in 3D again. Alright. Sorry, the thickness of our slab here is bigger. We want to reduce it. We right click on it and we, we click on property. We change it from the, we are using the height of 1200, we change it to the of 450 and we update okay so we will have something like this no that is too big one twenty okay update all right so we will close this and also the beam the curve beam let's look at the thickness we want it 300 okay and we update all right so we closed okay all right so we want to we want to incline this we want to incline this our solar panel carrier okay so for us to do that we will go to story six which is where we are let's navigate to the plan view okay in this plan view we will we will click on this slab and then we will go to plane definitions click on plane definitions in the plane definition dialog we will select the area we want to insert the plane okay all right the area is being selected so we want to turn the solar panel at angle 60 degree or 45 degree and for us to be able to do that we will have to input here we will have to input here 200 okay and then we click on update and closed okay you can see p1 has been assigned which is plan definition one has been assigned you can see it here too so you just click on it here right click and then say move members to plan all right so say all members content or at the edge of the plan 
definition will be adjusted okay you say yes all right so for having done that we will look at it in 3d okay we are having something of this nature okay we are having something of this nature all right so we are having something of this nature so what we need to do is we want to reduce the height of this okay for us to do that we will have to go to building okay and then we we'll go to edit story in the edit story dialog we will change this height we are we are having story sixth okay and then we will change it to two thousand okay instead of three thousand okay all right then we will use azure roof as normal level okay our foundation that we will be consider 1.2 okay so we flip up okay and we say yes all right this has reduced i think we will still reduce it again 60i okay so we go back to the building and we click on edit okay in the edit dialog we make it 1000 so that the wing will not affect it too much okay so we click on okay all right so it is nice this way okay all right so this is the modeling aspect of this lesson okay the next lesson we will be looking at loading the structures and designing the structural members okay so stay tuned this lesson must have a one with all the other kindly support the channel by subscribing so that you get the notification in and each time i upload my video bye for now